Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the South Florida Bulls, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Bulls will kick it away to start. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner will be dragged down. So Alabama's will be in a hole thanks to that short return. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. You can go way back in the history books to the wishbone attack, all the way back to the first Rose Bowl team. Alabama builds its identity on a strong running game. Builds it on dudes that tote the rock and do it with nastiness, with some physicality. And not one guy is going to bring them down. And, and you see it year after year with these guys. And there's always somebody that's going to be a physical challenge to try to get on the ground. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The pull and throw off the RPO. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will, third and short from the 45. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Bringing it back, it's Atkins. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. So the USF Bulls offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do, and you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass, but he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. The Bulls want to pick up the tempo. The give to the back. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Now the play fake. Pressure coming. And they fail to hook up on third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. And the Bulls will punt this one away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here comes that Alabama offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. 
Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punt. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Give to the back. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Looking for a crease, it's Haynes. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the tailback. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. This Alabama offense is clicking. They're set up with another first down. Here's the handoff. On the move at the 30. The expressway is wide open. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. Fast motion from the offense. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's going to try to return this one. He's brought down if the 16 would have been much better off to take the touchback. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Might as well stick with him. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. And the quarterback knew that that counter run play was going to be successful. He did a nice job counting the box before the snap. He knew he had good numbers. He knew he had good angles and blocking. So that is a green lit play from the get-go. Hand it off, go make yards. He'll keep it himself. Able to fight his way ahead for a pickup of four, but they're still left with a fourth and two. 
You know, this zone replay is something they rep over and over and over in practice. This guy can run it and execute it in his sleep. Good decision there keeping the football. The Bulls will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. The tied offense rolls onto the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Well, the short passing game is a great go to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. Flying out to the left. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Bama! That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. And if you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the final 53 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. They've got him then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. Brown will throw it. Trying to get to it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and ten from the 43. They go to the ground. At the 45 on his way. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Might as well give it to him again. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. And the Bulls come to the line in the hurry up.
from the gun. Running back on the move. Tackled, but he has a first down. This is an offense that prides himself on being physical, so you need one yard. Just hand it off to your back and let him go to work. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for room. It's Lamb. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone. Stay balanced. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. Brown wants to pass. Let's it fly deep downfield. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback. And they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. And it's right down the boulevard. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes that Alabama offense. Running back searching for a hole. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off the play fake. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. And you could tell the offense was trying to take a shot and really stress that safety. Sending one guy long, you better cover the deep ball, and then try to slip a guy right underneath it. Unsuccessfully, the quarterback's got to be a little bit better with that time. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon. And there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. He'll come out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Bernard. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains, and they're set up at the 41. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get any touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. Really nice run there. Now, listen, you know, modern-day college football, I know it's all about spread offense and throwing the football and going up tempo and scoring quickly, but, man, you think back to Bear Bryant in Alabama, doesn't it always seem like they've always 
wanted to establish the run game. They have always wanted to be physical. Bear Bryant would have loved this guy in his backfield. With his physical style of running, man, he fits that just perfect. And what a job by the defense, seeing the quarterback throw the football, break on the football, no space allowed. As soon as he catches it, defender meet ball carrier and gets him on the ground. Here comes the offense on second down. Running back goes in motion. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Alabama! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be clicking early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolling. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it a 21-3 lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. And he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. The give out of the gun. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. The Bulls moving quickly to the line. He's going to pass on second down. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. When you're on defense and you get to play outside linebacker, it's about as good as it gets, right? I get to rush the passer just like this and put him on the ground. Then I get to cover in space. I get to move all over the place. Great job by the outside linebacker. The most fun position to play in college football. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Fires to the right, and they can't make the connection on third down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters, and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And the Bulls will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. Oh, what a move! That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. And an empty backfield here on second and short. The back goes in motion. To throw, it's Milrow. Throws to the wideout. Fires and picked off. He'll try to take it back. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down, they can be in position, but they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. This is hardly the start they dreamed of, down 21-3. But get a touchdown here, and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. 
Yeah, and it's frustrating for this offense as well because they've got the horses. They've got playmakers to light this scoreboard up much more than the three points we're seeing here. I think you just got to stay true to yourself, do you, David, and know that the points are going to come. Well, it's also frustrating when the defense is giving up points almost every single possession. So they they need to score here and take this down and have a good drive, and then the defense needs to pull their weight a little bit too. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. They'll run it from the gun. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. The Bulls getting set on first and ten. Now he's looking to throw it. Feeling some heat. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Bought a little time, lets it go. He's got him this time. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They have just three measly points on the board, but trying to cobble a little something together here before halftime. Yeah, make something happen. And listen, if I'm this defense, I, I want to keep them right where they're at. Done a great job all game keeping them in check. Don't let them get some cheap points going into the half, get momentum, and start feeling confident about themselves. Makes the grab. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. He's got it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Going up top on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Haynes. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Now on second down. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Swings it out to his running back. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. He's got an open man. All kinds of running room. Touchdown time! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point sails through for a 28-10 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a big play up top going 63 yards to the house. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. They'll throw it on first down. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. -on -two. Who can go up? catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. I know that shot down the field was incomplete, but you got to keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them, so I would keep taking deep shots down the field. Out of the gun to give to the back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And the Bulls will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. First down here for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Finds his tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. That last completion has him set up second and short. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Working that left side. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! And they take it in for six more points. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're just about ready to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Comes out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. They'll throw it on first down. Lofts one high and deep. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. 
and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in T-Town. Ready to start the second half. Alabama will kick it off. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Going for it all. Ball in the air. Intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you've got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. The offense lining up for a first down play. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Finds a crease at the 20. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Quick strike complete. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Out of the shotgun on third down. Touchdown, Bama! And the beatdown has ensued. How about the day for this young fellow? That's a four-game stretch. Nope, four touchdowns in one game. He has been the focal point of this offense, and he has not disappointed. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. Grab behind the line. It's Ingletary. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you could tell in football, are just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Brown will throw it. 
They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. The Bulls decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Here comes that Alabama offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. Right back to the well. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Pocket starts to collapse. Got it behind the line. It's Miller. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Alabama comes to the line with first and ten. Wants to throw. It's Milro. He'll take a shot. Throw into the end zone. And it's picked off. QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot, right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass breakup, but, man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fella and get the six. Get the pick six. On third down, he drops the throw. Pass on the way. It's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you can tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. The tied offense rolls onto the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short memory just forget that last pick you're dang right clear the mechanism it's over moving behind some players can't do that real well and it leads to more mistakes Jesse you got to just forget about it and move on and I think the coaching staff can help him too David I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws nine yard pickup on first down and now they can take a shot on second and short 
just feeds the running back. At the 20, he's got space. Touchdown, Alabama! And the pummeling has started. An impressive run from the back. Gets him six points, good drink of water, and maybe a little oxygen. <laughs> he definitely needs some oxygen after that long run, but it looks simple, right? Just handing the ball off, but when you can make big plays like this in the run game, man, does it make offense fun. PAT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That drive took no time at all. Couple of plays and finished it with a long run for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Bringing it back. And the returner goes down. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Brown wants to pass. Getting some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the sticks, it's Simmons. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. He's got trips left, single receiver right on second and two. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught near the sticks, it's Simmons. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Unloads quickly. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. He'll put the tight end in motion. He'll pull it on the read. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. This has been a complete obliteration so far, as the third quarter stats will show you. So
So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. To the air on first down. Unloads to the right. He makes a catch. And he's brought down after a nice game. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it wasn't lack of effort by the running back. He was trying. He could tell he fought one guy off, but another guy in his face right away, but just trying to do something. The offensive line needs to do a better job keeping some guys off this guy. Come on, man. Take care of your running back. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. Brown will throw it. Looking down the middle. Complete downfield. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw, and the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense, just settling down and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. A first down run on the doorstep. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Second and goal coming up. Trying to pound it in. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And so how physical are you willing to be offensively at this point on third down coming up? Do you want to keep trying to run the football? I mean, you're right there at the goal line. How do you want to do it, though? You want to spread him out, maybe go zone read in the middle, give your quarterback the option to keep it? Or do you want to bring the big fellas in, go jumbo formation, and just try to impose your will? They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Honestly, it just looks like the defense has better players on the field, and that's really demonstrated itself throughout the course of the game. They've got more speed. They've been able to shut this offense down in every possible way, and even on that last one, not letting them get out of bounds. You've got to be impressed with what you've seen by this defense. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically... Uh, edged off the deficit still a mountain to climb So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes that Alabama offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking for a gap, it's Haynes. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Fires to the tight end. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. I tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside give. 
You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. They'll go to the ground. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. The give on the inside. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. From the gun, running back gets to give. Across the 25, he's got room. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. And how about the big play by this running back? Nice job running with the football, good balance, seeing where he needed to go with the football, finishing the run, he gets knocked out of bounds. But how about this offense set up now on first and goal? Caught behind the line. It's Prentice. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. 